Hey guys, Cobra here, and it's um, Sunday, and um, this is my pickups video. Now, I haven't done a pickups video um, in a long time, so I'm going to do one now. Um, uh, where do I start? I guess I'll go back as far as I can. Um, yeah, this is right. Okay, so a few weeks ago, about a week or so ago, I picked up um, Galaga for the NES. It's complete in the box for four bucks, I think. Um, it's called Galaga Demons of Death, but I'm pretty sure it's the same as the arcade version. So, for four dollars, I really couldn't pass up. He was trying to get rid of some stuff, so I took that off his hands, no problem. Um, okay, the next thing I got, I believe, you know, I'll just save these two till the end because they're a little bit bigger. Um, so the next thing I got was a, actually a pretty good score. I got Mega Man 7 for the Super Nintendo. Um, you know, I saw it there, and I was just, like, there at the same place, like, the day before. So, I don't think it was new, because it wasn't, like, usually where he puts his new stuff. Um, but I, I, I snatched it up right away for only 15 bucks. That sounds kind of like a lot, but when I looked on eBay, this is how much it was going for. I really couldn't resist. And it's actually good. I like it a lot more than the uh, previous Mega Mans. Yeah, I'll just put it over here. Um... So, I guess after that would be this one. I got Super Bomberman 2. Um, my first Bomberman game ever. And I love it. Really fun puzzler. Um, and if you haven't played any Bombermans, take Kefka's advice and uh, play it for sure. Um, I don't know. I like it. I, have never, I haven't played any other one, so I don't know if this one's different at all. But I think I might expand in those games. I want to get all the Bombermans for the Super Nintendo, which I think there's only two. That one. And then the first one. And I think the first one's kind of expensive, but, um, one day. Um, okay, and then today, there's a flea market in town, and I go to it now and then. And I usually don't find anything different. It's usually the same stuff, and there's some guys with old games there, but they're wanting money for them, top dollar. So I usually avoid it, and, um, there's this other one in a very little town, like super little town, uh, about... 20 minutes from my house, and they were putting up flyers about it around town, so they actually even have a website, believe it or not, and so I decided, you know what, let's make the trip out there, my friend and I, and see what we can find. Well, we get there, and there's like seven cars in the parking lot, and my friend goes like, I hope these aren't just the vendors, because that would mean there's nobody in there, okay, well, we get in there, there's actually more vendors than I thought. Um, it was still really small, but there was, like, I don't know, quite a few and quite a wide variety of stuff. Um, so we went on in there, and at first I was like, oh, here we go. Um, but then as we went towards the back, there was a there was one that had, um, like, DVDs, and that's what I look for. Those catch my eye, because that means potential video games. So I, 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 I saw that, and, um, and then my friend, you know, nudges me on the shoulder and points, and there's some Genesis games, a few Nintendo games, and I was like, oh, hell yeah. And the first game on top, I was I was so kind of stunned to see it, and I'm so happy I have this game now. Um, this completes the uh, the two of them that came out, and uh, I now have them both. And the game I picked up was Mutant League Hockey, which makes me have both of them now. I wish I had them in the box complete, but um, I cannot complain for two dollars. Uh, and then she also had some pretty good stuff. I also got picked up um, Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden, Gaiden, however you say it, whatever, uh, 2, I've played the arcade, in the, I've played it in the arcade, and, um, I liked it, and this game's supposed to be really hard, and, uh, I figured I'd pick it up anyway for, again, two dollars. This is another one I was really happy to see in there, um, uh, because it just looked really fun to me ever since I saw the Angry Video Game Nerd, uh, episode, uh, Ghostbusters for the Genesis. Again, this is one I wanted kind of boxed. But, you know, again, I cannot complain. Move this stuff over here. Alright, and then this last game, I don't even... I didn't know what, it, what system it was for. So I picked it up thinking maybe it was for a system I had. And maybe it was some rare cartridge that was, um... Uh, def like, special. I don't know. Maybe it was worth some money. And the only reason I didn't know what it was is because I don't have the system. And I really didn't know much about it. Um... It's Popeye for the Atari 5200, I believe is what it is. Um, 
I, I, I looked at it and I said, you know, I don't know what it's for. Because I did not know 50, 5,200 cartridges were this big. And um, I knew it wasn't for the NES because it has an overlay uh, spot. I knew it wasn't for the Intellivision, the Atari 2600, or the ColecoVision because it's way too big. So I was stumped. So I figured I'd pick it up, maybe hoping it was some rare thing. Well, it turns out it's not, and uh, I pretty much wasted two dollars. But if anybody wants to do, uh, um, I don't know if anybody wants this for their 5200 collection, let me know because I don't even have a 5200 yet. Maybe one day I'll get one, but as of right now I don't. So I guess that's up for trade if you want or buy it, whatever. Um, okay, and then we stopped at the Goodwill. And the Goodwill lately has been kind of bad. There's really hasn't been anything. The other day, there was a Genesis game. It was some sports football. And then a few days ago, there was a F World Cup soccer. So it's been pretty gruff. Um, but I did I did decent today, and I uh, found a Super Nintendo game, which is sort of rare there. And uh, it was Super Mario All-Stars. Um, now, oddly enough, I didn't have this. I have the All-Stars version with Super Mario World. So now it's nice to have both variations of it. Um... And it came in a, a like a Nintendo like clamshell case, like a clear one. And uh, the game's in aesthetically, it's in great shape. Although I haven't tested it out, I'm pretty sure it'll work. I see no reason not. It's clean, and everything like that. Um. Okay, so these last two things, pretty cool stuff. Um. A few weeks ago, I was at my local store and they got something new in. Oh shit. Got something new in. And it was this uh, Nintendo box, this big storage box. And um, I really like these old things, these old storage boxes. I have quite a few of them now. I'm sort of getting a collection of those of my own. And uh, what caught my eye with it was, like, the, sh the drawers. Like, this one here holds two controllers and the zapper. So that's cool. Uh, Got to get it back in there. Okay, and then the bottom one actually holds the games. Um, it's just, just a typical shelf. Um, the only problem is the bo I'm not going to show you because it would cause me to tip it over. The only problem was that the box, the bottom of this, didn't hold the games very well. The shelf didn't, so I had to sort of fix it up myself to make it hold the games better. And the um, the top here could open, like uh, it was loose. So. Uh, I got it for cheaper, and I'm sorry if you hear that, uh, Legend of Zelda right now, but, uh, sorry, uh, anyways, and, uh, so what I did was I, uh, I got a discount because of that, and it is wood, well, it's wood-esque, whatever, so I glued it, and it's pretty much not good as new, but one bad thing is, whoever had it before me smoked, so it'll take a while for that to get out, but I was really happy to get this, because I, I love this storage stuff. Oh, and if you're wondering a price on that one, um, I only got it for $5. I don't know. I looked on eBay, and they're going for more. Hmm. Anyways, they're going for more around, like, 40 so I was like, Yahoo. Um, all right, so this last thing is pretty cool. Most collectors have this, and I, 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 didn't, I didn't have this. And, in fact, I just recently got the system that would even go into it, into this box. It's a system box. And, uh, it was in rough shape when I got it, but I sort of cleaned it up, and it's kind of nice now. Um, it looks really great, you know. I love it. Great set. Um, so might as well just show you. It's the NES Action Set Box. Um, and the reason I say I just got this console is because I just got this version. I used to have the top loader, um, only, but I knew I have this one. It's my custom-painted one. Um, in this comes the zapper. This, this, these two controllers, and this game. Well, the box was empty when I got it. That's why I got cheap. Um, so right now I have the console in there, and this. This, this, and this are actually in the storage bin. So here's what I'm tracking down. I'm tracking down another one of these, two of these, um, and another one of these. So everything original is in there. And it came with some uh, paperwork, too. Some stuff that would have come in the box originally. Um, the box is in actually better shape because there was duct tape on the side, but and I was sort of reluctant to buy it because of that. But I ended up um, being able to take the duct tape off carefully with no uh, rips. So um, I'm really excited to have this. And this brings my boxed consoles to three. 
I am begging for a Super Nintendo box. Um, hey guys, Cobra here, and it's um, Sunday, and um, this is my pickups video. Now, I haven't done a pickups video um, in a long time, so... I'm gonna do one now. Um, uh, where do I start? I guess I'll go back as far as I can. Um, yeah, this is right. Okay, so Super Bomberman 2. Um, my first Bomberman game ever. And I love it. A really fun puzzler. Um, and if you haven't played any Bombermans, take Kefka's advice and uh, play it for sure. Um, I don't know, I like it. I have never, I haven't played any other ones, so I don't know if this one's different at all, but I think I might expand in those games. A few weeks ago, about a week or so ago, I picked up um, Galaga for the NES. It's complete in the box for four bucks, I think. Um, it's called Galaga Demons of Death, but I'm pretty sure it's the same as the arcade version. So, for four dollars, I really couldn't pass up. He was trying to get rid of some stuff, so... I took that off his hands, no problem. Where he puts his new stuff. Um, but I, I, I snatched it up right away for only 15 bucks. That sounds kind of like a lot, but when I looked on eBay, this is how much it was going for. I really couldn't resist. And it's actually good. I like it a lot more than the uh, previous Mega Mans. Right, I'll just put it over here. Um, so, I guess after that would be this one I got. Um, okay, the next thing I got... I believe, you know, I'll just save these two till the end, because they're a little bit bigger. Um, so the next thing I got was a, actually a pretty good score. I got Mega Man 7 for the Super Nintendo. Um, you know, I saw it there, and I was just, like, there at the same place, like, the day before, so I don't think it was new, because it wasn't, like, usually...